Hi guys, my name's Liam, this is Georgia, and we are packing for places, and in this week's vlog, I finally spot a celebrity while brunching out in LA. We hire some electric scooters to check out the sights at Venice Beach. Then we head downtown to spend a day at the world famous art gallery to finish off our California series. So guys, if you're new around here, we've quit our jobs, sold our house, and we've been traveling the world for nine months. We've been pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone, throwing ourselves into some crazy experiences such as climbing volcanoes, wild camping in Botswana and biking through Southeast Asia. So buckle up and join us for the ride as this series we take on California. If you like what we're doing, give us a like, subscribe to the channel and we hope you enjoy. So this afternoon we've decided to come to the Griffith Observatory. Um, it's right at the top of the Hollywood Hills. Um, looking over LA wow <laughs> the views up here are crazy yeah, isn't they? so we're gonna have a little walk around go into the observatory yeah Both. tell me about the observatory babe we observe the uh, <laughs> we're off to a great start. So I'll tell you what it's about. Apparently it's a free museum um, that's all to do with like astronomy and yeah. It's and there's a big telescope in there. Yeah, a big well. telescope is all bits like to do with space and stars, I think. I can't actually believe how small the Earth is compared to Jupiter and Saturn, these two big ones. And Earth is tiny. I never knew that. That was pretty impressive. Um, imagine up here at night, um, a clear sky, I bet you can just see like for miles and miles and like miles and miles up in the air like that telescope. Right, I think we're gonna we're gonna walk down. Um, there seems to be a route we can see that people are sort of walking down, so we're gonna give it a go. Let's look at this 360. Just insane views. This is beautiful. The weather's so nice. Such a nice walk down. Just chilling. Good. So this morning, guys, we are going to Venice Beach. Um, I was going to wear a vest, but. I didn't want them to get jealous on Muscle Beach. Uh, yeah, we haven't been to a beach yet in LA, have we? So no, this will be nice. And um, get some brunch by the sea. And yeah, just have a look round. But it's going to be really busy. You might even get some scooters out as well. So we're going to get on a bus. Uh, it leaves in about ten minutes. Uh, public transport's been really good in LA. Actually, been really impressed. Uh, Uber's been really good. So shouldn't be a problem. So let's get going. Ah uh, yeah. Hey, every time I come around you, baby girl, something doesn't feel the same. You said that I'm changing, but it's really you. <laughs> so we made it to Venice Beach, and oh, every time we go, every day we go somewhere different, and it just seems so iconic. And this is another place like Venice Beach. You see all the films, you see, you just see so much from here. So I'm so excited to explore. I don't know what's up with our love. I love you, forgetting all about us, about us. Oh. My Jolie, oh my Jolie, where are you? When I need you the most, you still am my This is my heart, the hardest melting girl you got me. At the skate park, and wow, there are some crazy, crazy people here doing some crazy stuff. But just the size of it, it's massive, it's right on the beach. 
Could you get any better? You don't turn on me now. You don't get no time for me now, babe. Got so I was hoping we got to Muscle Beach, you got to where they work out, and there's no bodybuilders here. <laughs> I was going to pay one of them some money to lift up Georgia. Uh, but it is sort of like peak during the day, so maybe late when we come back. How cool is that? I asked if I could film it and they said, yeah, it's all right. Just people like graffitiing down there. But look, even the trees, the bins, they must be allowed to do it down there. But yeah, really cool to see. I just you can smell the spray paint, and I turn around, and that's oh, really cool. Right? Can you give it one man? <laughs> so we got ourselves some scooters. Got them out for an hour just to have a cruise. Let's hope we don't fall off. <laughs> Alright. So we've made an effort, I've done my hair, I've put some aftershave on, I'm taking my beautiful wife out for some brunch. It looks really nice, it's called The Butcher, The Baker and The Cappuccino Maker, is that right? Cappuccino. Yes, what an awesome name. Oh God, just walked past the pussy cat dog. Well she's actually, she's sitting in this restaurant. We love I love celebs. You're so funny. But this is what it's about, isn't it? I'm gonna have to ask for a picture, I know she's eating. So See if she wants to be on the no. vlog. I'll try and get her. I, I think I got her as I walk past. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'll let her finish her dinner first. No, I've seen sort of like shamrocks on beers and on Guinnesses and a shamrock. You know, they put it on like imprint it into the top and they pour it. That is something else. They've added colour. Yeah, it's not so Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. I went for a rib sandwich with salad and Georgia went with chicken pesto and sweet potato fries. Food was so, so good. Wine was lovely. But I had to finish it off with a cookie. It is quite big, isn't it? <laughs> I'll let Georgia have a little bit. I can't actually believe how much this has cost. $41. That was only our drinks. <laughs> Yeah. Edgy goes the hundred dollars. I looked is... at the receipt and was like, no, that's not right. I was like, okay, but that's not our food, that's just the drink. Well, but I'll give them my credit card and they come back and they charge me. But it is what it is, but beautiful, beautiful spot. I will be getting a picture of the next celebrity I see, basically. I'm not letting Georgia hold me back in my dream. Out car spotting. Look at that Ferrari. <laughs> beautiful. Why would you do this to your Tesla? It just looks outrageous. Bit much, love the Tesla, don't know about the colour. So if you watch Selling Sunset, this is their office. There's a sign on there saying you're not allowed to go near the glass. Obviously people like come and knock and want to get in, say hello. So you know how high class and intellectual we are here on Packing for Places. Today we're going to an art gallery um, I'm actually really looking forward to this. It's called The Broad. It's one of the biggest art galleries in LA. Um, you have to book, it is free to get in, so 
We love something free to do. Uh, so we're going to go in, but I'm looking forward to it. George is buzzing for it, and it's something different. The actual outside of the building is an art piece in itself. It's really, really weird, but so well done. looks like comic, like comics, old American comics and done with dot work is so clever by this artist called Roy Lichtenstein I think. But yeah it's really good. We, me and Liam are saying we would literally have any of his art in our house. It's just so cool. pieces at Andy Warhol didn't actually know that he had an expedition here and some of the pieces are just so iconic his famous Elvis Presley behind us the most wanted men in New York just so many iconic pieces the famous Campbell soup is over there just insane I actually love love an art gallery might be our new thing might yeah, it? I'm loving it if I only had a little glass of champagne to walk around <laughs> with I'd be in my element I really want an expensive art piece for home now. It's inspired me. Crazy isn't it being under the table. I feel like an ultra small person. Yeah, like, like, being, like being a borrower, yeah. yeah. So this is obviously the area where they store all the art pieces. And they swap them out, yeah. Swap them around, but this is obviously a lock sealed. I bet there's millions and millions of pounds worth of paintings in here. I absolutely love that. That was such a good gallery. Who would have thought it? We were sitting there discussing what we saw like in different pieces of art and it was just incredible. It was just so many cool pieces, so many cool artists. Iconic. We was in there for a couple of hours, like really, really enjoyed it. If you come to LA, come downtown and go to the broad. So, so, and it was free. It was so, so. You make sure you book before you come down, maybe 24 hours in advance, but amazing experience. As it was our last day in California, we headed back down to the coast to the world famous Santa Monica Pier and the end point of Route 66. actually know that Route 66 finishes at Santa Monica Pier. Um, so did you know that before we come in? Yeah, I think oh, I did know. I think Georgia might have said before I didn't know that, so that's pretty cool. I'd love. I would love to do Route 66 one day. Get up, 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 What, how cold? cold. What, 10 yeah. being the coldest? Yeah, 10 being... Oh, ah. maybe an eight. <laughs> like 10 being the Canada... Yeah, yeah, Canada yeah. Lake. Um, no. This is a solid seven or eight. Yeah, this is cold. 
So guys, that's the end of the vlog and that's the end of California. It has been incredible, at, insane for me. It's been the best place we've been. We've had such a good time. Yeah, it's actually taken me so far to try to California. There's just so much to do here. We've never run out of stuff to do, have we? Hope you've enjoyed this vlog, guys. We move on to Mexico. Uh, can't wait for Mexico. I know, it's gonna yeah. be so good. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Packing for Places, and we'll see you in the next one.